Good morning, I'm Melanie Furr, the Director of Education for Atlanta Audubon, and also the caregiver for Sibley, our education ambassador, who was injured in a window collision about more than 18 months ago, and lives with me here, and does education programs for Atlanta Audubon. So let's go meet Sibley. Morning, Sibley. So this is where Sibley starts his day. Every morning I come in to the bird room and I raise the blinds. We have a little conversation and then I go make his breakfast. So at bedtime every night, Sibley just gets the same sugar water that you would feed your wild hummingbirds. Uh, because it won't spoil overnight. But during the day, he needs protein, just like the rest of us. So we're gonna see how he gets his breakfast. I get a powder that is actually imported from Germany. We mix the powder with spring water because I don't want him to get the additives that are in our tap water. Spring water mixed with a powder that has all the protein and minerals and vitamins uh, that he would need. Replicating his diet in the wild as closely as possible. At least once a day to give him even more protein, insect protein, uh, because hummingbirds are aerial insectivores. We, uh, I grind up fruit flies for him. So luckily, we share an office with the Amphibian Foundation who does wonderful work in amphibian conservation. So they provide me with their fruit fly cultures that they're getting rid of. These will go in the freezer for just a second to immobilize them. it. Nice little slushy, bug slushy. Hummingbirds don't glean insects. They have to fly and open their mouths and gulp them down. They don't really have the mechanism to, to grab it. They can grab it with their bill, but then they don't really have the mechanism with their tongue to swallow it. So I do get out the chunks. breakfast. We all know it's the most important meal of the day, uh, but it's not Sibley's favorite. He definitely prefers his sugar water, which has been interesting to observe his taste preferences. So the reason I'm able to have Sibley living with me and coming to work with me is because I have a permit from U.S. Fish and Wildlife to keep Sibley as an education ambassador. He goes out to schools and garden clubs and community centers, retirement homes, hospitals to teach people about bird conservation and how they can help hummingbirds and about their amazing lives, all the miraculous feats that they accomplish with their migration and nesting but it was a very extensive process to, to get the permit to have him. And very soon we're hoping to have a companion for Sibley. Um, we just found out that we're gonna get the permit to have a female hummingbird, so we can't wait to introduce you to her. 